Okay, kita ada satu um, something yang sangat special untuk semua followers Astro Arena yang mungkin ada join and participate dalam poll yang kami lakukan di Twitter baru-baru ini di mana anda telah memilih siapakah pemain import kegemaran anda sepanjang zaman Liga M dan salah seorang nama yang sentiasa dijadikan sebutan dalam Marlon Alex James so memangnya one of the biggest legend in Malaysian football so here we have Mr Marlon Alex James himself thank you so much for for willing to spend some time with us at Astro Arena Nina here. How are you? Um, I'm pretty good, you know. Okay. Really, um, <laughs> um, as you know, the time difference is, is 12 hours. Mm-hmm. Malaysia is 12 hours in front. Yeah, and I'm, so I'm really um, sorry if we're disturbing you or anything. But this will be a quick no, one. No, no, it's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I, okay, I, this I is going to be a quick one. I always tend to put in that extra when it comes to, to Malaysia and the fans and, you know, want to support over there. So. I know. Just so yeah. you know, a lot of people here in Malaysia, they miss you so much. They're always talking about you. Even after you even after you left, even after you went back home, a lot of people were still talking about you and still comparing other players to you because you set such a golden standard. Did you know that? Okay, so as I've explained earlier on, um, you have been voted as the number one, the top import player of all time in Malaysian league history. So how do you feel about being so fondly remembered and adored by by Malaysian football fans? Oh, this this is really overwhelming, you know. Um, seeing that I'm, <laughs> I'm really, in. <laughs> yeah. Seeing that I'm I'm really, you know, one of the the, the foreign player that you know who, who comes into the Malaysian league. You know, when I when I first, you know, was told I, I come into Malaysia to play, and I, I asked my my agent. I said, "Where's Malaysia?" And he said, "You know, somewhere in, in Asia." I said, "Okay, let's go." And I didn't know what kind of no situation I'm getting in myself, the culture and, and I then I realize it's a Muslim country. And then when I get to Malaysia, it's a it's a mixed race of Indians, Chinese and Malay. Being there and, and, and getting into the culture and also getting into the football. I, I must say one of the most things I, I must recommend myself about is that I just didn't come to play for the for the money. I came to you know to be a part of, of something special, you know. You know, I, I felt as as if Malaysia was my second home and I always said that. You know, actually could have lived in Malaysia as well. At the end of the day, I always feel what is most important is is giving 100% working hard. And and you always give get the, the best in, in result. And as you said, I'm voted probably the best foreign player in Malaysia, which is something that I, I must say thank you to the fans and who have voted for me and the, the clubs I played for and the state I played for. And even the, the newspaper and the you guys there, Astro Arena. As you know, I, I, I always, you know, send my regards to you guys over there. You know, Fina and, and um, what, what's her name? Um, the other young lady. Uh, I can't remember her name. Well, there's, so many I always... of us there's so many of us here in Astro yes. who really, really miss you. And if we had the chance to see you again, we would definitely come and Definitely. You, you, you guys are you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys going to see me again. Definitely. Because... We hope we hope that's going to happen soon. Okay. Um. Uh, so, we, we know that you've done so much for the local football scene. I mean, you have touched so many lives and a lot of people have really put you as their idols. But personally for you, what would you say is your favorite memory of playing in Malaysia? One, one of the things that I, I must say, I, I, that's really touched me playing in Malaysia. First and foremost, I've met some really nice persons in Malaysia. Really helpful towards me, you know, growing in Malaysia and playing. Especially, you know, for M. Kila and Michael Palani and his family. Kang Hang Ming, also he and his family as well. And I know I met some some folks when I, I played in Kada, which is my good friend Hokish, is, is probably one of my better friends in Malaysia. And then the entire state of Kada, you know, the fans and the, I, I would say the organization when I was there, but, you know, after I left, it was really a really good communication between, which I expected more communication between the FA. But, and then I moved to the ATM, you know, being comfortable there and the support for making me to play very well. The whole entire army, the the chief and the comrade, all of these guys, and and, and also I must say, Coach Satya has been really really good to me, definitely. And I I can't forget the players. I I have some good friends there who are still keeping me. To, I already know Ma, Amaru Zantash, Rizal Zamri. You know these players. But overall, I, I must say it's just a, a nation. The most I will say that touched my heart when I was in Malaysia is um. When I was playing in Kedah, I happened to become friends with the, we become friends, but you know, my, the, the, 
he is the la the, um, he's passed away now, which is the Sultan of Kedah. He comes to every game. When he, I got invited to the, the Palace of um, Malaysia in 2012, when I was playing for ATM, that probably one of the most touching moments for me in Malaysia. It shows how much Malaysians really appreciate you and how much they adore and love you, Marlon. Even yes. though today, you are still one of the top names that people still always talk about, which is something that's not something that's that doesn't happen very often but it's been years and yet your name is still on everybody's lips so that's pretty amazing that's an amazing accomplishment okay um another question that i would like to ask you is that are there were there any local players who you might say was your biggest competition during your playing time in malaysia yeah you got a few players you know i i always admire you know a lot of players that i come up against you know the great slango you know, who are you always? It's one of the teams that I always love to play games in Malaysia. I, I can play Slango every Saturday, every Sunday. Yes, it's one of the teams <laughs> that I always passionately come up against. Yes, okay. I, I think it's one of the great teams that when I used to be there with, with MK Lan, is it used to be Shuko, the guys from from Indonesia, Ali Boy and Bam Bam, and they they are Argentinian striker as well, Florentine. Yes. And then the local guys who, who was there it was really good, good players. So I always used to, to these teams, these are the teams in, in when I play for, for MK Lang. But when I go to Kedah, again, Slango, always Slango. Because <laughs> it, it's a big, it's a big rival which, you know, the, the fans always appreciate to be playing against Slango and Slango fans because it bring a, a good atmosphere. And then when I play for ATM, I think my one of my biggest rivals used to be two teams is, is Young Lions and Clanta. Yes, those two, two teams. teams. Yes, I, I enjoy playing against Clanton, especially going over in Clanton. Because I think we we actually, for, for a couple of years, we were, ATM was one of the teams that went there and, and got a, a victory. Singapore also. One of the things, I love playing against Singapore because I always see the rivals between Singapore and Malaysia national team. So when ATM played against Lions, it's like Malaysia versus Singapore. So I used to feel as if I'm a Malaysia. So... That vibe used to be inside of me all the time. So I used okay. to always enjoy playing against them. Yes. So this is kind of personal, Marlon. Um, if you were actually given the opportunity to play for Malaysia during your career in Malaysia itself, would you have just taken that offer? Oh, of course. Definitely. I would have. Definitely I would have. But I think the reason why I didn't pursue it because I already played for my national team. So when you already play for your national team, you cannot represent the national team. So that's one of the reasons why. But I will, I will love to play for the national team. Because yeah. when, when I see the... Imagine Marlon, I like games. <laughs> <laughs> and one of the things, now you ask me about the national team, I, I must say it's something I've been really proud of, the, the growth of the national team. I've seen them play in the, in the, the qualifying games and it's been really, really, really impressive. I, I have not seen the Malaysian national team play such good, good football. So, Marlon, we don't really have much time, but um, can you just send a message to everyone who's voted for you as their favourite import player in the Malaysian League? So, can you just say something to them, please? Let me say thanks to everyone who have voted me for the best foreign player ever to play in Malaysia. It was definitely appreciated by me and also by my family because I even explained to my wife and my kids already about it. So, um, as I said, it couldn't be just playing for Kada and the whole entire Malaysia, 60% voted for you. I, I must say, I appreciate the other fans from all over. And a special request to, a request, a special message to the Kada fans and always be sportsmanship whenever you go away games and you play home in the future. It's only bring a better footballing nation when you have sportsmanship in football. And to the players and fans, stay in though, as you know, the, the corona, virus is around rapidly all over the world. So please, stay in though. You know, it's a testing time. And soon we'll be back on the football field. Thank you for having me, Astro Arena. Thank, thank you, you so much, Marlon. You're welcome. <laughs> I hope to speak to you again soon. And do take care. Thank you very and much. Please send our regards to your family, your wife and your kids and your family back home. And we'll yes. speak to you again soon, hopefully. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you for Bye dan kepada anda yang mahu cuba dapatkan kandungan menarik sebegini teruskan bersama dengan kami di Astro Arena. Stay safe, stay indoors. Bye.